Hi guys and welcome to a walkthrough of a two bed, two bath townhouse here on La Torre Golf Resort. I'm just standing outside the actual house now. This is in the road of Morocco for anyone that knows the actual resorts, um, which, um, which if you do know, um, then you know Morocco, the back terraces will have literally all day sun, basically on the, on the main terraces at the back. So I'm standing in the street. This is obviously as always your off street parking here. Um, so every house has its own off-street parking. Um, as you can see, there's like tons of parking outside as well. I mean, you're never going to have any problem parking here, put it that way. Um, but you do have your own off-street one if you choose to use that. Um, I've got, I mean, I've, I've got a villa here on the Torrey and I very rarely use my street parking. I always just park outside, you know, because it's just a little bit easier. But it's there if you want it. I've already went, went through it all, of course. Um, I've done the pictures. I've done the virtual 360s. Again, do not forget to look at the virtual ones. They're very, very, very good um, for getting detailed, you know, look at each room as you go around the house um, and then this video I do obviously just to try and do it as much as I would do it if you were here in person um, so it's just basically to point out anything I think needs pointing out um, and just a bit of advice and, and a bit of chat as we go around so let's go through and see what you think about it um, obviously this has all just been repainted quite recent because this is in much better condition than most certainly in better condition than mine um, so I would imagine that's been painted very very recently right in we go so straight in, you come to this small hallway area, okay? Got windows to the left and you can see they've just put this kind of film on it, okay? It's a clear window, but they've just put a film over it. Um, so you just give you a bit more privacy from the house next door. Um, but again, you can leave that on, you can take it off, completely up to you. Got the staircase directly to the right, which obviously goes up to the second level, or first level, I should say. This is ground, that's first. Um, so let's go through the lounge first. And straight away, you know, again, first thing that hit, lovely furnished, really nicely furnished. Uh, in terms of the furniture of this house, please check with the office. Um, I believe some, um, some of the stuff is going, so just check with the office. I think it will depend on whether you pay full price and it will depend on other bits and pieces. So just check with Holly at the office for, for further details on that. But I'm gonna do this tour with everything in here. So I'm just acting as if everything is staying. So just to your left here and directly there is that nice big three seaters. Um, two cushions, but these are definitely three seaters. Um, just looking around the, the nice coffee table over towards the, the TV area over here. Notice straight away that the AC unit has been changed from the original, so that looks very new. I would imagine it's only been put in very recently. Um, kitchen over here, I can also see has changed from the original. We'll go around there in a second. Um, but yeah, so very, very nice couches here. Really nice, really, really nice um, you know, quality. Um, and it feels very, very new as well. Um, TV over here, which looks to be around a 40 inch, 42 inch, something like that. Um, and then over here, you've got like a, a little dining table area. So you've got a, a wooden dining table with four chairs here, little kind of shelf little thing over there. And again, they've put the same thing and they put the stickers on the window there. So again, it's up to you if you want to keep the stickers or you want to take them off. And then of course, from here, it goes straight out onto the ground floor terrace. Okay, we'll stay inside the house for the moment. Um, so looking back over to my right is the kitchen. So as I can see straight away, um, some little changes have been made. So the, you've got all the worktops obviously are, are new. Um, the actual units themselves are all new as well. And it looks like the whole units are new. You know, sometimes people keep the carcasses and just change the doors, but this like it's all new. And as you can see, oh great. So they've fitted drawers and cupboards on this side as well. Cause that's what a lot of people don't like about townhouses. You know, they always say there's no space. There's no, you know, cupboard or, or, or drawer space in the actual kitchen. So as you can see, this has obviously been put in new because this would have just been a very kind of slimline one with nothing underneath it. So this is probably completely new um, and they've put in the extra cupboards and, and drawer space that people always want. Um, again, the, the oven down here I can see is, is very new. Um, that's, only, that, that's certainly nothing like the original. Um, this is also new um, and that, that is actually the same, but all of this has been changed. Okay, dishwasher over here. And then the other thing you notice, I'll just show you it from here, is this is obviously your, where your boiler is. And this is also where your washing machine is plumbed to. And now usually that's all completely open, but you can see they've actually put a wall in, tiled all the wall, and then that's, a, that, that's now a locked door. So it just kind of keeps everything secure and it keeps it weatherproof more, important, more, more importantly. So rain's not gonna get to your washing machine or your boiler. Now, don't forget all boilers in, in Latari are gas combi boilers, okay? So you've got central heating throughout, which is gas, and all your hot water, which is gas, okay? We'll go out there shortly anyway, but just while we were there. Yeah, really nice, really, really nice. This, of course, as always in tan houses, is a, is a storage cupboard. We'll get to that in a second. So while I'm on this side, let's go outside to the terrace here. 
because obviously this has two terraces, right? One downstairs, one upstairs. So we'll do this one while we're down here. So as you come out, you've got um, quite a large table with six chairs directly ahead of you. Um, I'm gonna go around to the left because this is actually quite a bigger plot than you usually get with a townhouse. Um, if I stand over in the corner, you'll kind of get what I mean. So this is actually a very large gap. Usually there's nothing here at all or something like to about there. So what I've noticed next door has done is they've actually tiled all the way to the edge. And if you look this side, it's the, it's the same. That's a big, big gap. So you can leave it as it is, or you could just tile it right to the edge and it just gives you more kind of flat space usable. Um, I can see from up here, they've obviously added a, a little thing there. So then the water, you know, when it's raining onto the terrace, it doesn't, it doesn't run all the way down your house. So it kind of moves the water away from your house. And I can also see from here, which we'll see more when we get upstairs, that they've changed all the railings to like clear kind of glass screens, but we'll have a look at them when we go up. But yeah, this is a nice gap here. This is a nice space. So this is basically where the plot to this house ends, literally just, you know, kind of halfway to this wall. Um, so basically all of this is, is the actual house's plot. So you've got a lovely shaded area down here. And like I said, though, I mean, look, you can use this as it is, but if you did tile that out, you could put tables and chairs and everything out here as well. So uncovered, do you know what I mean? So you can either cover or you can go into the cover or you can come out of it. And then, of course, they've just got a gate fitted there, which basically just goes to the front of the house. Now the guys that own this have just left recently, um, so I know they have a big lovely marquee and everything set up set upstairs on the terrace, which obviously was all completely dismantled, so obviously I can't really put that back together um, just for this, um, but um, they did take some pictures of it, so it will be on the website under the images, okay? But it's just like a nice big marquee that's on the terrace upstairs, but that's why you see kind of little bits around here, like this is obviously part of the set upstairs and things like that. So that's the only reason I'm, I'm mentioning that. And yeah, they've done a brilliant job here. Like I said, from inside, this, this would have been all open. So this would have just been open here, but they've actually not only like kind of uh, filled it in and, and cemented it in, walled it, put a wall in, and actually tiled it all on the outside as well. So that looks really good. And as you can see, they've just put a lock on it, but that just keeps that weatherproof, make sure no water can get into your, to your washing machine and, and your gas boiler. So that's excellent. Very good. Right. Out of this one, back through the lounge. Kitchen just to our left here. So, like I said, every townhouse also has a nice big storage cupboard, okay? So that fits, as you can see, quite a bit in. So think bikes, golf clubs, anything that you kind of want out of the way goes in that door there. Through here is a downstairs bathroom. Uh, again, all change. Um, so this looks that's a, that's a new toilet from the original the sink may or may not be the same i'm not sure but that's a, a new toilet there and as you can see here is completely different so that would have probably been a bath at some point um or a bath with just a shower head um and that you can see has all been changed so they've changed the wall at the back and obviously just put in the nice kind of uh the tray and a nice big glass screen so that's um yeah that freshens it up nicely and of course most people want walk-in showers now don't they very few people want want baths Obviously that is connected to your gas central heating. So that's a, you know, a towel heater slash radiator. Then out the bathroom, take a left. And this is your downstairs bedroom, okay? So as you can see, set up as a, as a twin. Uh, it's a standard single bed. I just say that just to differentiate between standard or, or storage, or, or sometimes you get short ones, small ones. These are a very good sized. Uh, standard singles you've got inbuilt wardrobe over here and again you can see up here you've got your your ac unit in there and when i say ac these are reversible right so they would be cooling and heating so it's up to you some people prefer to use these than the central heating especially if you only want to heat one room like if you're here you know in, in, in february or something you go to bed you find it a bit chilly rather than putting on the whole system you can obviously just turn your unit on here and, and heat the room so the window here that's going to be looking out to the front of the house so that's basically looking out to your off-street parking but yeah, very, very nice. Very nice. And like I say, gas central heating throughout. So that's your radiator in here. Um, but obviously it's throughout the actual house. Okay, so gas central heating throughout. Right, let's head upstairs. Nice, bright stairway. Obviously you've got lots of windows and things up here, keeping it that way. Now, again, first thing I notice when I'm at the top of the stairs, this originally would have been a window, okay? So they've actually taken out the window, put in a door. 
Very, very good idea, and a lot of people do it, because otherwise it means if you wanted to, to socialise, have a few drinks outside on the top terrace, then you have to go through your bedroom to get there. Um, but by putting this in, of course you don't, so that's a fantastic little bonus there. And again, it's um, it's like a like a white frosted glass, it's nice actually, I like it. And then into the master, which of course is a bigger room, okay, and that's a, that's a big bed there, that's a very long bed. I don't know if it's for a very tall person. Um, but you've got a, a proper kind of double bed, bed there. Inbuilt wardrobes up there again. Again, you've got what looks to be brand spanking new units. So that's another one there. So it's got full AC throughout. Obviously, you've got gas central heating throughout as well. But you've also, don't forget, like I say, you can you can use these for heating and AC. It's completely up to you. And then, of course, being the master, you've got the ensuite. So again, this is a, a big bathroom. These are bigger than the actual ones downstairs. And again, you can see they've taken out what probably was the bath originally and done the same sort of thing. So it's basically the same floors, same wall tiles, but obviously the back wall there has been completely changed and all brand new shower units and everything in there as well. Very, very nice. And then this window again is gonna look out to the front of the house, just where we started. So that's just the top of the off street parking. You can see that. New sink, new toilet. So nothing really original in here apart from the actual tiles. And then spinning around is your radiator there as well. All very nice guys, very, very nice. Now a bit messy in this bit because again, that's part of the, the marquee set up outside. So yeah, there's not really, it's too big and heavy and bulky and I don't want to risk damaging it, which is why I've not moved it. But obviously you can see past that. You've got another window here with again, the kind of transfer stickers on them. And then this way you're looking straight out towards the mountains, towards Murcia. But a lovely room, good size. And of course this orientation guys is pretty much directly west. So this is gonna get sun all day on both on the terraces and coming through the lounge and coming through this room as well. Let's head out to the terrace. Wow, okay, so now you see what I mean about the sun, put the glasses down. Right, so I can't really see what I'm recording, so I'm hoping it's okay. Um, but right, so a lovely big terrace here. Um, you can see the frame of the of the marquee still up. Um, and like I said, from downstairs, you've actually got, they've, they've ripped out all of the black railings, right? So if I look to my left, you'll see what, the, what was originally here. So they've all been taken out and they've put the glass railings directly to the front. And then to the side, they've put the kind of frosted white glass kind of, uh, what would you call them screens i suppose so clear glass to the front and the kind of white frosted glass to the side and that's obviously because you've got people there so if you're sitting down and stuff like that it just gives you a bit more privacy um they seem to or well, they have tiled all the top of the actual of these as well because again this would have just been white paint concrete um again like you can see there and the great thing with with that is that that keeps that looking really nice and smart because the problem with these is they get dirty they chip off the paint chips off so that just keeps it looking nice and clean all the time and they've done that on all the top shelving right so these are your exterior units for all your ac so again like what they've done they've actually put like a a cover over the top of it i mean you could go one step further and, and put some sort of uh gates on on that side of it just to fully enclose it in um but you have to be careful how much you enclose these units because they need to have a lot of air getting to them to to work efficiently and views guys now you have choices here really you have choices of golf you have the choice of, of nothing really um you know they just go into gardens and then you've got another house at the back of you um or you've got looking off resort and this one looks off resort towards mountains basically so it's over the campo and towards all the mountains it's a lovely view and like i said directly west so the sun is just here now but that will be there all day guys in winter west orientation for me is by far the best orientation you have some pretty much from noon until sunset and don't forget you're going to get them lovely sunsets almost directly in front in summer you're going to get the sun from around lunchtime until sunset so it's a great orientation i know people always go on about south south gets basically exactly the same amount of sun as west it's exactly the same it just gets it earlier and loses it earlier um, the bonus with the west facing is in summer uh sorry in winter you get a lot more sun um, because the, because the days are shorter right so it swings around to the west by about noon so from that point onwards you've literally got the sun all day it's lovely guys 
Right, so 159,950 this is coming on at, 159,950. So just shy of 160,000 euros, okay? With you, we are within a five to six minute walk of the supermarket in the town center. Um, the community fee on this one, I believe, is 155 euros per month, okay? Um, now don't forget on the Tori, that includes all of your internet, which is fiber optic at 50 megabit speed. It includes international TV stations and it includes an internal phone line. So you can make a booking at one of the restaurants, book your golf, or you can ring any other property within the resort itself. It's a lovely, lovely example of a townhouse, guys. Um, if you've got any questions at all, let me know. Um, obviously, you can see the little things they've done. Kitchens have been basically been completely changed. They've kind of added the, the enclosed kind of cabinet outside to keep all of the, the, the boiler and the washing machine away from rain and the elements. They've upgraded the, the bathrooms. Literally, the only thing left in the bathrooms are the, are the normal floors and the, and the wall tiles. Everything else pretty much has changed. I'm not sure. I think that might, that sink may be original. I'm not sure. Um, but pretty much nice and fresh. And the, the bathrooms have all been upgraded. So they look a lot nicer. And my daughter did have a go at me the other day saying that I say things are clean too much. But, you know, it's just a fact. When you come in, sometimes you see the walls are kind of a bit grubby. Maybe hands have been on them and stuff like that. Maybe rentals have been in. Um, so you're going to get always a little bit of wear and tear. And again, this one is, is like bright white. You know, it looks very, very good condition. Any questions, guys, as usual, you can get me on inquiries at polarisworld.org.uk. Calling from the UK, 0208-090-3631. Calling within Spain, 968-032042. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Any questions, let me know.